going on. Well, an American roach. Ford flies. Leaky faucet. Leaky ceiling mold. I mean... How long has this guy been out of here? It's been a while, huh? Well, she said since mid-September they haven't been in here, but so, we didn't know that. So two months? This happened in two months? Are you kidding me? Look at this. Like, do you think that that's possible? That it only took two months? Well, shut up with humidity. It doesn't take it long. It's incredible, isn't it? I mean, I don't... Okay, I'm here in Charlotte, North Carolina. We're doing a perimeter treatment on this building. We came out yesterday and I got all the way around the building, stopped at this corner where the brick is. Came back today to finish up. I noticed there was a cockroach belly up right here. Now, there's a lot of confusion about the difference between an American cockroach and this guy's antenna still moving a little bit. Uh, there's, an, there's a big difference uh, between the two. Uh, the American roach is almost an inch and a half, whereas this guy's about an inch and a quarter. He's uh, mahogany brown. The pronotum is completely dark here. Whereas an American cockroach, the pronotum will actually have a gold colored ring around it. And uh, also, you'll find the smoky brown cockroach in attics. Whereas we typically do not find the American cockroach up in attics. But uh, these guys will infest buildings, especially around drains and sewers. And uh, I just want to point out the differences because there is a lot of confusion about that. It looks like our perimeter treatment is working, even though we didn't realize there was a, uh, an infestation of smoky brown cockroaches at this building.